I am going to take no lectures from a Labour Party that puts politics before people. They talk of change, but I'm afraid the Labour Party have not changed at all. She believes that our 43 bills, uh, 1,000 SIs, and a record number of private bills, 24, passed in the third session are, is a shabby record. I would just point out to her that between 1997 and tw uh, 2010, 13 parliamentary sessions, there were only two sessions that put through more bills than we put uh, passed in the last parliamentary session. And in the last sessions of Labour administrations, the average number of bills brought forward were 21. Um, she can't justify the charge she makes against us about the amount uh, that we have got done. Um, she might be relying on the amount of time it took us. It did take us less time than we had allocated to pass a lot of that legislation and uh, do government business, but that's not really a problem for these benches. It's more a problem for the opposition benches, although I wish to make it clear I have no complaints about that, Mr Speaker. This side of the House has been pulling its weight even on opposition day, deb uh, opposition day uh, debates. For debates on school safety and animal welfare, for example, there were more Conservative speakers in Opposition Day debates than there were from the Opposition. At the heart of the charge that the Honourable Lady presents us with, uh, it comes to values and it comes to who is fit to govern for the people of this country. And I'd ask her just to have a little bit of self-reflection. She mentions doctors. 80% of the doctors, the medical doctors in this House, sit on these benches. 91% of the veterans in this House sit on these benches. I don't think there is a problem with our uh, values or our service or our duty. I just say to her that yesterday outside this place, 40 Just Stop Oil activists held up an ambulance on Waterloo Bridge. It was our legislation passed in this House that enabled the police to arrest 40 of those protesters and get the traffic moving. Legislation that the Honourable Lady blocked, along with uh, reforms to protect the public from strike action. She supports the regressive tax policies of the London Mayor and the tax and spend policies of the Shadow Chancellor that would saddle every household with an additional £3,000 worth of tax per annum. And the once party of education, education, education is now the party of tax education, education, education. Just think about that for a moment and the values it represents. I am going to take no lectures from a Labour Party that puts politics before people. They talk of change, but I'm afraid the Labour Party have not changed at all. Andrew Jill.